So once you have the cord plugged into the camera, the camera needs to be turned on. And then you'll go down here to your file explorer and then click on that and wait a moment because it could take a second or two to open. That ha opened pretty quick. And then what we're going to ask you to look for is this PC. Click on this PC. And then over here you can notice, okay, there's the camera. Or it might read an SD card. Either way, we're going to click on that, open it up. There's the SD card. And inside of it, we look for the DCIM, the digital camera image. That's the name of the folder where pictures are stored on mobile devices. Open that up. We have a few different folders to choose from. Some of them haven't been deleted before. You could try this folder or this one would be my guess. I'm going to try the one on the far right. I double click on that. I can see some thumbnail images of the pictures. Down here in the right corner, you might see them as a list view, and you don't get to see them as an image. You can see when they were taken. That's if the date was recorded correctly. Doesn't necessarily match up with what's here, but sometimes they will. So this is the how you toggle back and forth to see them. This is the image I'm looking for. And then on the left side, I'm going to click the arrow next to pictures. There isn't one up here that's in the quick access menu, but down below this PC, click the arrow, and that'll expose the different folders inside your picture folder. And what we're looking for is one called your camera roll. And I take this image and drag it over on top of camera roll, and it will read copy to camera roll and let go. You can see that it's moving in there. Now, when you double click on camera roll, you look for the picture that you're bringing in. This is the one here. For you guys, it'll be a picture of your name cards. So let's just open that one up as a model. That was the picture I was looking for. And then be patient while the picture opens. The computers are a little slow. Once it opens, I'm looking for a menu in the top right corner over here. Click the three dots and set as, and here we'll say set it as my background. Click that. And once I've done that, now if I minimize all my windows, that image has now become the background of my screen.